Hello everyone, it's Mark Smith here. Welcome to this amazing beading tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make these incredibly stylish and very simple spiral earrings. If you've never beaded before, this is the perfect tutorial for you. Remember to like and subscribe our channel and any comments that you like to, to pop on, whether you want to see future tutorials or add on tutorials from the earrings we're going to show, we'd love to hear from you. So let's get started. So these are the amazing beaded spiral earrings that we've just mentioned. And as far as, as far as ingredients go, you don't actually need very much. So what I've got in front of me here is a sharp pair of scissors. We've got some six pound fire line and in the white, which is your beading thread. Then I've got a size 12 needle. And on the needle, I've popped on probably about 90 to 100 centimeters of thread. Obviously we're making earrings, so we're going to need some sort of shepherd's hook or some sort of um, closure for your earrings. So I've got two lever back earrings here, very elegant again. And then as far as beads go, you will need a six millimeter round gemstone. I've got an aquamarine here in a matte finish. And then you need two sizes of sea beads. You will need an 80 and you will also need an 11 And that's it. It could not be simpler. This is all you need. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to pick up our needle and thread, and then we're going to pick up one of our little 11 O's, and I've gone for this amazing translucent black rainbow finish. We're going to pop the bead onto our needle, and we're going to slide it down to the bottom with about 10 centimeters of thread exposed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our needle, which is currently exiting through the top of the bead, round the back and back up through. Now we need to repeat this little move five times. So once, twice. Now as you can see, I've chosen a thread that's complementary to the beads I'm using. If you wanted to go a bit zany, you could change the color maybe. Let us know, pop, pop your little thoughts in the comment bar below and uh, let me know what color thread you're going to be using. So that's four and that's five, okay. So when we come to finish our earring, because that bead is locked and acting as a stopper, we can simply cut off this little tail and everything will be nice and secure. So next, on top of that little bead there, we're going to pick up an Ato, one of our gemstones. Then we're going to replicate the beads we've popped on here. So we're going to pick up another eight and an 11. Now in this particular technique, the simple spiral, we have two features. We have the core, which will run through the center of the bead, and then we have what are called the arcs, which form the spiral, which sit around the core. So our core is going to consist of five of our Ato seed beads. Okay, so there we have our five. Now what we're going to do, we're gonna slide those down so it meets our little beaded section. So, so far so good, very, very simple. So next we need to decide on the combination of beads for our core. So I'm going to go for three of our little 11 O's, followed by an eight, followed by three 11 O's. So one, two, three. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up my beadwork and I'm going to take my needle back up through the last five eight O's. So we're just going to take our needle up through the five. And then what will happen when I pull my needle nice and tight is you have this little arc forming around the core of the beads. So far so good. So next, this is what we're going to do every single move from now on. Okay, so we're going to pick up one of our eight O beads and we're going to slide it down so it meets the core now bear in mind, we've just taken our needle back through five, so that's just something to remember. So then we're going to pick up our arc section, which if you remember, were three 11s and eight and three 11s. And then what we're going to do is we're going to count down from the top, one, two, three, four, five beads, and we're going to take our needle up through the five. And then we're going to pull nice and tight, so at this stage here, can you see we have two little arcs? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our needle 
away and we're going to take that second arc and just give it a nudge anti-clockwise so it meets its partner so we have the two pop together and place it down then we're going to pick up an eight which is our core bead we're going to slide it all the way down and then we're going to pick up our arc now if you remember one two three of our elevens then an eight and then one two three of our elevens and then we're going to repeat what we did earlier so we've count from the top one two three four five and we take the needle up through the five and we pull the needle up and you get your third little arc so what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little nudge and we're going to slide it round pull the thread nice and tight so we have our three and you already can see now the spiral is starting to take shape then we just repeat so we pick up our core bead so we always 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 pick up our core bead first and we slide it down and then we pick up one two three be absolutely interested if you pop in the comments what sort of colors and, and sizes of beads you would use because you can just be so experimental with this technique and uh, the world's your oyster as they say so what we're going to do is we're going to count from the top one two three four five so it's always five and it's always seven beads on the arc so it's going to pop down and we're going to turn it around and you can already see now the spiral starting to take shape. Now what's fantastic about this technique is very, very simple, it's very, very repetitive, and we're making earrings here. But if you'd like and leave a comment in the, in the space underneath and let me know what you think, we may even, in the next tutorial, dev devolve it into a bracelet or even a necklace. So we'll show you how to do that in a follow-up tutorial if you like. And get, let me know what colors you'd like and, uh, and, and textures and, and whether you, don't, you want the whole thing to be gemstones, we could even do that for you as well. So there's our spiral, as you can see. So in a, in a future tutorial, we'll, we'll show you how to turn that into a bracelet or even a beautiful long length necklace. So to turn it into an earring, we need to replicate what we've done at the beginning. So we're going to pick up an eight. We're going to slide that down. Then we're going to pick up one of our little aquamarines. And then we're going to pick up an eight and an 11. And then we're going to slide that down. Okay, so that's your earring shape. So what I'm going to do to attach the earring finding is we've got these little lever back earrings here. So very simple. You open the little door, you pop that through the earlobe, and you close it. So it's very, very secure. One of the most secure earring findings that there are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle through, and I'm going to take it through. And every time I take the, the needle through, I'm going to shorten the thread. So one, two, so you see I'm pulling nice and tight. Three. And once I've done three, what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to go round four and five. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it sideways and I'm going to take my needle down through as many beads as I can following through the core. So let's go through. There we go. Give it a wiggle through. That's a technical term we use here at Jewelry Maker quite often. And pull that through. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle behind the beads of the core and I'm going to just pull the thread until you have a little loop about the size of a, of a small grape. And I'm going to take my thread down through once, down through twice, pulling it nice and tight. And then I'm going to sew away from the core, from the knot, and pull nice and tight. And now I can go in and cut off my threads, which we know is nice and secure. We can cut off the tail, which we know is nice and secure at the bottom. And there we have our completed beaded spiral 
earring. So have, if we have a look at the, at, uh, at the made up ones to my right, we can show you the, the range of colors that we've used. So this is the earring that we've just made for you. And I've added the extra aquamarine at the top. And then you can, it, it, it can just be an absolutely amazing little technique. And uh, the colors of, I mean, Mayuki seed beads, for example, they have thousands and thousands of colors and shades and range. So I hope you enjoyed this little, little starter technique there, completely aimed at uh, you beginners out there. So um, I hope we haven't put you off. I hope you enjoyed the, the, the technique. And um, as I mentioned, if you comment in the bar below and subscribe and like to the, to the channel, we'll be able to, to have a look at your posts and uh, come up with new tutorials. And I think this is for the simple beaded spiral. This is just the beginning. So, um, so keep beading and we'll see you again soon.